What's up, guys? We got another Cyrax kick stream. This time, he's whining about CVG and his friends. Don't know what he's talking about, but let's check it out. So I'm here to speak on something, man. I'm here to speak on CVG. This dude named CVG and what's really going on. Like, a lot of people want to know the truth behind this CVG guy and what's really going on. So I'm going to give you guys the honest, open truth as to what's going on. And why, if anybody comes in here saying that I'm doing this and doing that and what I'm not, don't believe it. You see, a couple years ago, I ended up retiring from dancing for good. And it's not because I hated it. No, I loved it. You know, I used to love dancing, man. I would do it all out throughout high school. I had a great time with it. But then just over time, man, my body just was not having it. So I made the conscious decision to do one last dance routine and then, you know, hang things up, which I did. Uh, no, I didn't, Ray. But the day that I decided to retire, and I made that announcement, and I told everybody that I wasn't doing it no more, this CVG guy decided to try to force me to do it. All the shit that's been going on with these people like that guy that I just banned. The reason why they're doing all this is because I refuse to dance. Because my body cannot physically handle that anymore. I mean, come on, dude. I'm 33 years old, man. I'm getting up there in age. My body isn't built for that no more. I mean, maybe when I was 23, yeah. When I was 23, 24, 25, yeah, I could do it. He basically tried to force me to do it by doing like doing what he's doing now, essentially. Like basically saying, hey, you know, you're gonna dance for me or this is what's gonna happen. And what he means by this is what's gonna happen, he proceeds to spread lies and rumors and shit that's not true to try to ruin my name. He gets people to falsely report me. Um, he gets people to go after my friends and family. Hell, this this dude right here, CVG, that, that CVG guy, he's the whole reason why me and my best friend of 17 years, Jake, are no longer talking to each other. He's the reason. Like, this is a dude that is responsible for having stuff stolen from my house. The reason why that guy showed up to my house and I got arrested. Um, he's the reason why a lot of our shit went missing. He's the one who had somebody follow my stepdad and do his job. 
and egged the inside of his car after breaking in. And yeah, he sits there and like makes all these cover stories of why he's doing it. But the real reason is because I refuse to dance for him. Because this dumbass does not realize that I don't have it in me anymore. You know? I don't have that kind of energy that I used to have. Dude, in the morning it used to take me two, three minutes to get up. And wake up in the morning and get up. Now it takes me like 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes almost. That's how you know you're getting old. When you're taking 30 to 40 minutes just to get up, you know you're getting up there in edge. But apparently this CVG guy wants to act like he owns me. Which is bullshit. And believe me, I, mean, I would love to sue for slander, but there's only one problem. I don't know where the dude lives, and I don't know his real name. Otherwise, I would. I really would if I, if I had had his real name and shit, I would. But unfortunately, I don't have either of those, so I can't do anything, unfortunately. Which fucking sucks. Because, like, I'm not normally one to promote violence. You guys know this. I'm always trying to help you guys out in any way that I can. But I'll be honest with you, man. CVG is one of those punk motherfuckers that needs to get got. He really does. He needs to get God and quick. Because people like him never last. Like this dude wants to sit there and act like he owns me, but nobody fucking owns me. You can't own another human being. And because I refuse to do what he wants, he runs around making up all these lies and doing shit to get me fucked over. And it's fucking bullshit. Like, it's total fucking bullshit. Like, I'm over here I'm trying to live my life, but I can't even do that. Like, what the fuck? Like, I can't even live my life in peace without this guy pulling some bullshit. That's simple. He wants me to dance for his enjoyment. That's all it is. He wants me to dance for and for his enjoyment. Because in his mind, I'm not good at anything else. To him, all I'm good for is dancing and that's it. That's all I'm good for according to him. Oh, I know it is, dude. I know it is, Kano. Believe me, dude, I know it is. Like I said, I retired from dancing a couple years ago because, like I said, my body got older and it was time for me to hang up my dance shoes. I was, you know, I was at my limit. And once I retired from that, that's when I decided to shift all my focus into recording my music, creating the music that, you know, you guys want to hear, 
and have fun and you know also you know work on game development and shit like that and for those of y'all that don't know I actually do have a history in game development I have worked with a few not major companies but small independent ones that are super chill as fuck So, I mean, you know, I decided after I retired from, you know, dancing that I was going to shift all my focus into writing, recording music, uh, recording albums, working on game development, working on artwork, working on my clothing brand, because I got tired of it. Actually, no, I didn't. I'm pretty sure you're thinking about someone else there, buddy boy. Like I said, man, this shit that's been going on with me is fucking stupid. Because believe it or not, there's a lot of people out there that do want to see me do better. But here's the thing. How am I supposed to do better if no one leaves me alone long enough to be able to do better? Like, people sit there and they say that, like, oh, you know, we want to see you change, we want to see you change. Oh, like, how am I supposed to do that if you don't leave me the fuck alone? I'm sorry, but a motherfucker don't just change right there overnight. That don't happen. Oh, I'm not, dude. I'm not. I'm just speaking the truth on what really goes on. I'm just speaking the honest to God truth about what these people do. Like, dude, there is a... This dude literally has amassed a following of, on Facebook of over 2.9 thousand people. All because I won't dance for him. He takes these 2.9 thousand people and spreads all kinds of lies about me. Makes up shit. Spreads rumors around. Does all kinds of fucked up shit to get me in trouble for stuff that I didn't even do. Like hell, right now I'm sitting on a three day ban from talking to my friends again. Because of this guy. Which sucks, which is why I had to make a spare Facebook just so I could talk to my friends. Wait, like, it's literally fucking dumb. All the kids I want to dance for, this guy's going around fucking with my family, fucking with my friends. This is the same motherfucker that has stolen shit off my family's porch. And. He's the reason why I ended up getting locked up overnight and then let out the next day. He's the reason why I had to go to court. Dude, this guy is the reason why just so much has happened to me and my family over the last couple years. And it's fucking stupid. Like, the guy needs to grow up and move on. I'm not dancing. I have no plan to come out of retirement from that. So, CBG, I hope you see this, man. I hope you know that I'm not coming out of retirement for you. I'm not coming out of retirement at all when it comes to dancing. I am retired. My body cannot physically handle it anymore, dude. I'm 33 years old. You're like, what, 18? You're young as fuck. If you want to see someone dance, why don't you do it yourself? Why don't you dance yourself, dude? If you're that interested in it, man, do like I did. Watch the Step Up films. Watch the movie Save the Last Dance. Study that shit. That's what I did.
Yeah, here's the thing. Aware of myself is one, or was one of CVG's foot soldiers. Aware of myself worked for CVG. CVG sent Aware of myself over here. And that's the thing, like, this dude don't realize that what he's doing is gonna get someone hurt. Hey, Kano, that's not a bad idea, man. That's actually not a bad idea. I fuck with that idea. We'll have to come up with something, but that's still not a bad idea, bro. That is not a bad idea. Like, and I'm not even joking, dude, like, to give CVG a taste of his own medicine would be fucking, dude, it'd be awesome. Like, it really would be awesome. Like, that really would be awesome, man, to see CVG pay for what he did. Yeah, for real. Hey, yo, Marty, if you do see this live stream, man, here's an idea for you, man. You're always wanting to see someone dance, right, Nick? Right, Marty? Make CVG dance for you, bro. For real, man. Make CVG dance for you. Okay, I'm not even going to remember who you are in the morning, so why would I remember you now? Marty, no. I don't remember half the trolls that I banned by the next day, so why would I remember you? To me, you're just another troll on the fucking list for the chopping block. Hey, Andrew, what's up, man? I'm doing good, man. How about yourself? I haven't really had too many run-ins with the guy, so I can't really speak on him really that much, if that makes sense. I've had like maybe one or two run-ins with him, so I can't really speak on how he is. Or I can't, you know, place any, I can't place any opinions on somebody that I've only talked to like one or two times. Like, I can't, you know. Like, if I were to sit down and talk to the guy and get to know him, then yeah, I could make a, like, an honest opinion of him. But I've not talked to the guy, really, so I can't really make a judgment call on that. I can't really speak on that, if that makes any sense. Like, I'm not going to judge somebody based on, like, one or two chance interactions. Like, the only time I make judgment calls is if I see somebody doing something. 
Like, take Daniel Larson, for example. That dude actually punched a cop. He actually did some fucked up shit. But as far as I can tell, dude, Jared Genesis, he hasn't really done anything, so I can't really speak on what he's done. I can't say anything good or bad about him. I'm just, I'm neutral as far as that goes. Hey, Eduardo, what up? And yeah, he is. He definitely is. I don't know who the hell Jupiter is. Obviously, I know. Obviously, everybody knows who Daniel Larson is. But I have no idea who the hell Jupiter is. I'll have to look him up. Oh, I definitely will whenever I get the chance to, for sure. And somehow, Kano, I'm not surprised. Somehow, I'm not surprised, dude. I right, definitely, I'll definitely do that. Well, like I guess so, man, like, all the shit that's gone on me over the last few years, over the last two, two and a half years, have been caused by, C by this asshole, CVG. He started up early to mid last year and has just run rampant ever since. And it's it's fucking disgusting. It really is. And I'm sorry, but if you ask me, people like CBG don't need to have a YouTube channel. People like Marty don't deserve to have a YouTube channel. And I am going to say this, like, because I always get the same question over and over and over again. You know, if I had the money that I'm supposed to be getting, what would I do? And my honest opinion is this. There are three different things I would do. One, obviously help out my family. Two, help out my friends that are music artists that can use the money and use the help and the equipment. I would help get them the gear that they need to get them going. And the third thing would actually be to start up a foundation to battle back against cyberbullying. You know, give people the open resources that they need to actually be able to legally, you know, fight this shit. You know, have an actual team dedicated to actually going after these people that do this kind of shit. Because I was in that position once. And in some ways I still am in that position. It might not be as bad as it was, but I'm still in that position to an extent. And because I don't want to see anybody go through what I've had to go through. Because I've gone through that shit. And it's, it's not a fun place to be. It's not. Am I not doing interviews? Not right now. And I know a lot of people ask me why am I not doing interviews? And it's because a lot of them try to get me tricked up. They try to trick me up by leading me into a conversation that would 
you know, basically be getting me to admit to false allegations. Like, they would try to get me to falsely admit to shit that I didn't do. Or try to falsely incriminate me. And that's why I avoid interviews for the most part. Now, I have done a couple with, you know, actual good friends of mine that I actually know in real life that are very good people. They know the situation. They know what's up. And they didn't do any... And they didn't do anything to try to lead me down that fucked up road. And for that, to them, I want to say that I am beyond grateful to you guys for that. I seriously do appreciate that. Yo, Darth, what up? I actually have, and I have found a lot of them, but even with those, there's only so much that they can do. Like, there's only so much that an anti-cyberbullying group can actually do. Not gonna lie, dude, that was a surprise, man. I was actually shocked by that. Yo, mad shout out to my boy Darby Allen, man. I hope he gets better soon, man. I really do hope that Darby gets better soon, dude. I agree with that 100%, Darth. He ended up breaking his arm. I didn't catch how he broke it, but he ended up breaking his arm. Now, if you were to ask me who my favorite tag team was of all time, oh, it's all good. It's all good, man. Yo, Andrew, it's all love, uh, bro. But like I said, man, I hope you understand why I don't do interviews, bro. I do hope that you genuinely understand that, bro. Not to mention, dude, I've had so many people asking to do interviews, do interviews, do interviews. I'm just like... I did so many interviews a couple years ago, man, and I was just like, I need a breather. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I've done so many fucking interviews that it's insane. Like, the list is actually insane for the amount of interviews I've done. Which is why I'm taking a break from interviews for a while. Hey, Steve, what up, dude? But if you were to ask me who my favorite tag teams, like my favorite tag teams are in wrestling in general, number one, the Hardy Boys, Matt and Jeff Hardy. Personal favorite is Jeff, but I love the Hardy Boys in general. Absolutely love them. And then my second top favorite would have to be Darby Allen and Sting. Like, for me, Darby Allen and Sting are just an insane fucking tag team. Like, I can honestly say that they work really, really well together. They really do. Favorite wrestler of all time. Oh, there's a there's a couple of them. One, Undertaker. You can't, you, you, you can't go without having an Undertaker on that list. You can't. But for me, Undertaker... Uh, Rey Mysterio, Jeff Hardy, and Darby Allen. Yo, Adam Copeland and Christian Cage, bro, they need to team up, man. They need to team up, bro. 
Edge and Christian need to team up, dude. Straight up. Yo, Stone Cold's good. Definitely Stone Cold. He's definitely on that list for sure. She just mentioned that a few minutes ago. The Hardy Boys are definitely on that list, bro. Straight up. Tonight, ain't they? And just another troll. I oh, and, and speaking of which, to that dude that says that I, that, like to that guy that said in my chat earlier when I wasn't looking, that he, that I have you on, not you 3 teeth, but to the dude directly, and that says that I have him as a mod, on an alternate account. Here's the thing dude, I'll find your ass out, and when I do, I will ban you. And I will go in and I will unban the people that wanted to donate. Trust and believe that. I will find out who you are. I will ban you and I will unban the ones that wanted to donate to me. So, just know that that's coming. Z Yo, Zilafato, yes. Another member of Roman's family, yes. Oh, he is. Straight up. Favorite color. Oof. For me, crimson red, black, white, and sapphire blue. Now, if we're talking team's colors, man, I'm a Seahawks kid, man. Seattle Seahawks from my hometown, dude. Gotta represent. And the reason why I say Sapphire Blue as one of my favorite colors is because my birthstone is actually Sapphire. Which ironically just happens to be one of my favorite gemstones. So, yeah. It kind of what can I say? Oh dude, Vatu is a beast, man. I've been keeping an eye on him for a good minute now, man. He's good. He's definitely good. sure yet.
Yo, they need to, man. That'd be a good angle. MJF, not a big fan. Adam Cole, yes. Because, dude, I remember when Adam Cole ran with Undisputed back on NXT. Yo, Strawberry, what up? Yes, that needs to happen. The hey, thanks, Steve. Appreciate it, man. You know, it sucks that I don't have the fucking rights to that song thanks to William Glory Hall, dude. Like, it sucks that because of Wayne Glory Hall stealing that song, I don't own it, which sucks. And I'm the one that wrote and recorded that shit. Are you kidding me, dude? Dude, I own GTA 5 Cross Gen Edition, as well as the original number 5. I've also played all the others as well. No, not really. He's just more or less background noise for whoever at this point. He's just kind of background noise doing whatever he's doing. So, it is what it is. But the fact that he actually managed to steal the one song that everybody loves... That was a hit, for me anyway, kind of sucks. Which is why what I'm thinking about doing is taking it back by taking the song down and remixing it and doing what I need to do. Yo, bad dude, I definitely be down for a few runs, dude. Yeah, CBG's mainly the one that's doing all this shit now. It's mainly him and his fucking slack-jawed wackies that are doing shit. And Kano, that's what I was just talking about doing is taking it down. You know, and remixing it. And redoing it so that he no longer gets, reaps the benefits from that shit. Has he tried to call me recently? Hey, let me put it this way. Can't nobody call me right now because right now my phone currently is not working. Like, it's working, but I need to get a new phone because the phone part of it no longer works right now. So I have to get a whole new number because I'm changing plans. So, even if somebody wanted to, they couldn't get a hold of me by phone. The only... I mean, unless you want to really count Instagram as the phone part of it, because that's where I do talk to a lot of my other fans at. Or not other fans, but like my friends at. Is on Instagram. Like a lot of my really close friends and family, I have a lot of them on Instagram. So, I'll call them on there. So... Technically, I have a backup phone app. Kind of, sort of, not really. You know. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It definitely does. Because now I don't have to worry about trolls leaving 50 million text messages fucking saying... Like, fleeing a 50,000 word fucking thesis text message just for them to say how much they hate my guts. Because that's what they'll do. They will literally send a fucking chapter book of a message of why they don't like me.
Oh my god. I wouldn't even know where to begin, dude. I've gotten so many of them. Like, dude, I've gotten so many funny ass text messages that it's just like, what the fuck? Like, I couldn't name off just one number or one message that I've gotten a funny text message from. Now, I will admit, the funny ones, they did do a lot of those prank calls. Like, the ones where, like, hey, you talking to my girl? Hey, like that shit. I have gotten a few of those. Those are funny. And I've done some funny responses. I have done some smart ass responses, man. Let me tell you. I've come out with some smart ass shit, dude. But yeah. How they order shit? Oh yeah, plenty of times. They sent plenty of dude. Just yesterday they were dumb enough to have a fucking and y'all are gonna laugh at this. But they were dumb enough to have an HIV kit sent to my house. Oh like, bitch, I haven't done anything in over four years. I don't have HIV, dumb fucks. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm clean. Oh, uh, what did I say the response? God, I don't remember, dude. It was just some on the spot, off the wall shit. By the way, I got a bit of a, not really a, well, I guess you could call it a challenge. I want to see if you guys can guess these. Like I did. If you guys know anybody that would definitely take this challenge, man, bro, y'all should try this on them. I'm telling you right now, man, you definitely should try this challenge on your friends. See if they, see if they get as many right as you guys probably can. <laughs> Yo, with that being said, man, I am about to bounce for the night because I am about to crash on sub. I just wanted to hop on here and let you guys know the real truth about what this CVG clown's been pulling and everything that's been going on. Um, but yeah, I will be speaking on more about it tomorrow. But right now, bro, I'm about to fucking, I'm about to crash. So, I'll catch you guys in the morning, man. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. If you did, y'all already know what to do. And, uh, yeah. Love you guys. And, I will catch you guys later, man. Peace.